everyone, it's Edna here. I hope you're all well. A few weeks ago, I did a video um, about Schubert and Ponctu with 19 number three. So this video was a bit inspired by the fact that I started teaching on Zoom and I understood that I can say things online that can really help and put uh, students and uh, amateur musicians uh, on the right path. And of course, when I did the video, which was about teaching this piece, uh, I was very careful to put it in the context of, okay, a short video, 10, 12 minutes, that goes really to the essential points of, you know, how to approach the piece uh, in order to really uh, start well and, um, and uh, face the, the, the main questions there. So today, this video will be a complimentary video in a way on certain things I didn't say, but foremost it's going to be a, a video which is a homage to Leon Fleischer, the great pianist and pedagogue, and I was very lucky to study with him. Um, so I wanted to remember uh, Leon Fleischer who sadly passed away at the beginning of the month, and, um, and I want to remember him and say the three things I imagine he would have told me on this Schubert and Pontu. So I'll start with uh, probably his favorite expression, uh, one he used in every single lesson. And that expression was support the composer. One way to do that for him was, uh, he said, stay longer on the long notes and go forward on the shorter notes. So in this Schubert and Pontu, it really works well. Um, and for example, on the opening phrase, uh, you would stay longer on the long note and go forward on the second, third, and stay longer. Uh, and in this way, it's very small you don't really you know if you don't rush like crazy you don't overstay on the long notes but these are just uh, this is just a recommendation which tells you don't play like like a metronome don't play like a machine but go with the flow of the music and I find it very important especially nowadays to remember that um, you know that tiny irregularities actually uh, are very musical and on the contrary when you stay really the exact amount like a machine or like a computer then you lose the, the humanity of it somehow so that was his probably greatest motto is to support the composer stay not on the long notes and go for it on the shorter now the second point he stressed as very important was the, the choice of fingering. So for example, in this Schubert, um, of course work from very good editions. I mean, I'm working either with Berenreiter, which is a fantastic edition, but in the case of the Schubert, I really also like to look at the Handy edition, which has the fingering of a great pianist, uh, Walter Gieseking. And uh, I'm a huge fan of Walter Gieseking. And um, it's really interesting to see his fingerings here. So for example, in this passage, uh, Schubert writes legato. Now, of course, it, it's, it means you have to do it with the fingers. Usually what you get uh, as a proposal is to use five, going into five, four, and three, which uh, makes sense. Um, now, when there is the repeat, um, this is actually also the, the, the fingering that is often proposed, but this thing has a very interesting proposal here, which is glide. So glide, five, five, So that's a very 
very good proposal because it really illustrates this gliding also from the E E flat to the E double flat um, with a certain you know uh, chromatism there that is um, stronger than just go going from E flat to D, even though E double flat is D, but it's it's closer. So as five five is closer than five four, I would use five five as well. So um, the last point that I like to make on something that Flasher used to say a lot, he used to say uh, that you should play with flatter fingers. So his metaphor was, okay, when, when you want a more caressing sound, you should use flatter fingers, not so round fingers. And he, the, the way he explained that, he said, okay, if you want to caress somebody, okay, so if I want to caress this zebra, he said, you will not use the position of round fingers. You will not do that. You would use a flatter position of the hand. So the same thing goes with playing. So for example, again, this same passage. Okay, this is much more caressing in the sound. So that were the three things uh, I imagine Leon Flasher would have told me. I anyway uh, hope that this um, could be useful also to you. Enjoy!